Welcome back to Good Day Atlanta. Time is 9-12. May is Better Hearing Month, and local teen who knows firsthand about the challenges of hearing loss is on a mission to bring the gift of hearing to others, but he needs your help. Jack McConnell joins me now with more on what he is doing, and you've been busy, Jack. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much <laughs> for having busy. me. You've been busy. It's good to have you here. So I want to give our viewers a little bit of background on you. You were the first baby identified in Georgia with hearing loss after Georgia started requiring newborn screenings 20 years ago. So this is something that you have been living with for a long time, right? Yes, ma'am. I've worn hearing aids my whole life. Wow. So what has that been like for you? Well, you know, for me, since I've been able to hear my whole life, mm -hmm. I'd say it's my biggest blessing ever to be able to have the gift of hearing, be able to be connected to life around me. But there's 466 million people that suffer from disabling hearing loss. So only 3% of these people either have access to hearing care or can afford the hearing care they need. That is not many that no, are, are not. able to get what they need. Only 3%. That's amazing. Huge need. Yeah, that really is. So here in Georgia, you were able to, to take part in, and be a part of this Jack's Law being signed into law. So what exactly is that? Yeah, we were able to uh, partner alongside with some friends and get a law passed mandating private insurance to cover the cost for children's hearing care because hearing care is very expensive and unfortunately insurance does not really cover it. And I think that's, that's pretty shocking for most of us. We didn't know insurance wasn't covering that. I know, I know That's it amazing. Is. Yeah, so some good work. How does it feel to know that you're being a part of a solution like that? It's awesome. I mean, just knowing that I'm able to help people like me, not only just right here at home, but all over the world. Yeah. And that's just why I started my foundation, 2020 Hearing, because I felt God calling me to use my, my hearing loss, my hearing is as a gift to serve the hearing impaired all over the world. And our mission is to give the gift of hearing and ensure the right to communicate. So it just feels awesome knowing that I'm able to live out my calling through my hearing loss. Yeah, and how old are you? I'm 18. I started this when I was 11. Started this at 11, 18 now, and already have made such a big difference and done so much work. That's impressive. Thank you. It really is. So you talked about, you know, giving the gift of hearing to people all around the world. You do that on, on mission trips that you've had a chance to, to go on several of these, right? Yes, ma'am. Uh, we've been blessed to be able to partner with the Starkey Hearing Foundation, and I've been on 10 hearing aid mission trips in 15 wow. different countries, and giving the gift of hearing of someone for the first time, it's one of the most life-changing things I've ever seen them just come in just being kind of a hopeless being, being filled with life and energy and joy, and you can just see the dreams in their eyes. Oh, look at that. Those, I mean, that's amazing. Yeah, Seeing their yeah. faces. So cool it's, that you've been able wonderful. to be there as a part of that. So so one of the things that you do through 2020, is, 2020 hearing is, is you collect used hearing aids, right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, and you brought some of those today. Did, so how, yes. how does it how does it work? Well, how do you get those? So we actually received a grant from the UPS Foundation earlier this year to use the money in the state of Georgia. And we've just always been kind of collecting hearing aids along the years. But we were like, let's be intentional about collecting these hearing aids. And so we just launched our new hearing aid recycling program. So what we're doing is we're taking these hearing aids, we'll send them to the Starkey Hearing Foundation, our partner. They will recycle and repurpose these he hearing aids and bring them on their international hearing aid mission trips to change lives all over the world. Mm, you know, there's probably a lot of people who have hearing aids who have some sitting in a drawer, yeah. you know, if they've upgraded, if they've if they've gotten new ones, and this can make a real difference. It is, yeah, that's why I'm so passionate about it because I know that people do, who do wear hearing aids, there's a high chance that they do have an old pair of hearing aids or two sitting in a drawer. So I'm trying to get these hearing aids out of people's drawers and onto people's ears. Yeah. Uh, doing some some really good work. What would you tell people who maybe think that they're starting to experience some some hearing loss or having trouble hearing? Yeah, you know, I mean, it, it's, it's not something to be afraid of. There's an incredible technology out there to be able to have the gift of hearing and be connected to life around you. Mm. Yeah, so worth worth talking to your doctor it about is, at, it is, at minimum. Correct, yes, yeah. Okay, so you mentioned that we can donate these hearing aids. Is there anything else we can do? Can we donate to 2020 Hearing if we maybe just want to donate money? Yeah, if people want to get involved, they can go to 2020hearing.org, and there they can find out how to donate their hearing devices, uh, support the mission of 2020 Hearing, get involved, or even just sign up for our monthly newsletter where they can find out who we're helping, how we're changing the world, and where we are. Jack, proud of you, and thank you so much for coming thank in. Thank you so much for having me. Appreciate it. Yeah, and we appreciate you. So if you'd like to learn more about Jack McConnell and 2020 Hearing, you can use the Fox 5 Atlanta app or go to fox5atlanta.com. Just look for the viewer information story. We sure appreciate it. Thank you so much. Time is 916. Now let's check back in with